really started writing music after high school, so like 2008, 2009, and then I really kind of, you know, it was kind of a hobby, um, but I really started getting into it on a professional level, sort of in like 2013, 2014, um, and I think actually one of the first songs I actually released was in 2015, my song 1915. 1915, a year that will live in infamy, countless people murdered by hostile infantry, children still in their infancy, killed instantly, mass executions without any sympathy, the Ottoman Empire set fire to Armenia, killing more people than untreated leukemia, their mission the area, even though it's the suburbs of Washington, D.C., everyone's aware of politics, domestic and geopolitical. I found a lot of my friends who were going to good schools, private schools, public schools, colleges, were not aware of the Armenian Genocide. And that's something that I had, you know, I felt I needed to do something about. So, you know, writing a hip hop song about it, I felt could be a way to reach the younger generation. Twenty-six schools have used 1915. Um, most notably around here, there's the German School of Washington, Stonebridge High School, but also like St. Petersburg uh, College in Florida. And then there's uh, the Armenian Genocide Society, um, which is a um, sort of a, a program, a genocide education program. They go from school to school. When Hitler planned out his final solution, he said Jews are pollution, right for execution, and we can get rid of them. It's been proven after remembers the Armenians, a real quote he spoke before murdering millions. I've wanted to go to Armenia for a long time, um, really since uh, like 2017 or 2018, it's been a big priority of mine. Um, you know, obviously COVID happened, that kind of put everything off, and then I was trying to find the right time to go. It was kind of funny because our first day was, uh, was Vardavar. My mom and I went down from our hotel uh, to one of the, the fountain sort of areas in, um, in Yerevan and I got a good video which I posted on my TikTok and then actually got like over 125,000 views so kind of went a little viral. <laughs> Yeah, the Armenian Genocide um, Museum was great. My my mom got to speak to the director and gave a uh, a recording of you know the history of my family's escape because they they do a really great job of uh, collecting information like that um, for the archives because you know every family has a very similar but unique story. Yeah, so I've been working um, in the field uh, since 2008, working as a, uh, an educator and a therapist for children with special needs, primarily kids on the autism spectrum, but with lots of different diagnosis um, as well. And uh, the last 11 years, I've been working at the Floor Time Center in Bethesda, just on Rugby Avenue. And I actually connected with uh, uh, an Armenian who uh, is from the, the US, but lives now in Armenia and she's been working at um, the uh, Emily Erdogan Center in Gumri, um, which is a great center. They work with kids with additional needs. And um, no, it was great. Yeah, I got to, uh, I got to speak to all the therapists there uh, the first day, and it was really great staff, very warm and welcoming, and just the center is beautiful itself, um, just the architecture and the space that they have there. And then the next day I was able to go and do a little performance sort of jam session with the kids and it was amazing. I saw it in Hayastan Nume, American Bunakvo, or Matnerov, high hip hop artist Mark Turey. Nera Hazar in Artas Nhingierke, Nara Borutun at the Vel, Aveli Line, the Sarani, Manal, Hairitza, Raspanutan Masin, nor yeah, no, the interview at Shanti V was amazing. Um, it was great to see the station and connect with everyone there. Um, yeah, I really liked um, the opportunity to speak to them. Um, and yeah, no, it was great to, to talk a little bit about uh, my new song. Honoring the high. And music is a great way to learn, so it's a way for them to sort of learn about it and retain the information. So 
teachers have actually reported that the engagement has gone up um, when implementing that as a tool. Um, and yeah, no, I think that more and more schools across the U.S. are starting to have very good comprehensive genocide education programs um, where the Armenian genocide is, is being a focus. So I might be going back um, and sort of on the therapy front, I definitely want to connect um, and sort of help spread you know, what I can to, to help benefit kids on the, on the special needs spectrums. For music-wise, um, yes, I'm, I'm planning to do a music video for Honoring the High. Um, I'm planning to do a few, a, a remix version as well soon. Um, but um, yeah, no, I think that Armenia has always been something that has been very close to my heart. Baikar, Baikar, Mitya Varch, never give up till the end. Baikar, Baikar, Mitya Varch, never give up till the end. Armenian pride, completely revived. A century of denial, can't defeat the survive. Diaspora thrives, wherever we touch down. Back home, standing strong, come and look at us now. Stood firm through the fear, persecuted, persevered. There's a plan from Yevan, for the world to hear. We're sculptors of cultures, scholars and authors. Paying respect to our forefathers proper. Living with an attitude of gratitude